This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Crash Plan. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. This is a show where you could ask me, John Rettinger, any question you've got from the wide world of technology. Can't make sense of all these mobile operating systems, phones coming out too quickly and don't know which one's best for you. Not sure what I do on the weekends. This is the place you can ask. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go ahead and get started. So our first question comes from Ron. It says, hey John, a lot of people want to know about new multiple Nexus devices. Is Samsung going to make a Galaxy Nexus 2 or is there another company like HTC or Sony? Right, so I don't know the answer for certain, but this is just a rumor that I've heard. So if you come closer, promise you no one's listening. I'll tell you. Rumor has it that Motorola will be making the next Nexus device. Ever since Google acquired Motorola Mobility, we've all expected that to finally happen. We are, though, still hearing rumors that have been coming around since before the Nexus 4 that we'll be seeing multiple Nexus devices. And perhaps that rumor meant that we're going to see different size devices. So do I think we're going to see multiple Nexi by different manufacturers? I'm trying to think probably not. I think we're probably going to have one Nexus phone per generation. I think Motorola is going to be able to make that next one. So hopefully that helps answer your question. So our next question comes from kapple21. I get this question almost every week. John, do you think that Apple will make a Retina Display iPad Mini? Yes, absolutely they'll make a Retina Display iPad Mini. The big question is though is what generation? If I were a betting man, and I'm known to play a game of poker every now and then, I would say the next generation iPad Mini, the iPad Mini 2, will have Retina Display. I'd expect to see that sometime in the middle part of next year. I wouldn't expect much difference. Upgraded processor, probably look exactly the same, but feature that gorgeous pixel rich retina display we've come to love on the current generation full size iPads and the current generation iPhones. Hopefully that helps answer your question. Next question comes from Gabriel. John, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Gabriel, I don't know, but last I heard you changed your money to rupees. Good luck, Gumshoe. Brandon Beaster asks, my upgrade is soon and I can't decide between the Nexus 4 and the Note 2. Either I get the latest version of Android or the biggest screen on smartphones today. John, which would you pick? And which one's gonna be the most user friendly? So that is a great question. I would personally would go for the Galaxy Note 2 for a few reasons. First, I love that giant screen size. And second, Android phones can be rooted and you can put on a custom ROM on an Android phone. Now it's certainly easiest on a next device to upgrade to the current version of Android because Google provides it to you over the air. You don't even have to worry about rooting. If you want to get a little bit comfortable with the rooting phones, go to the Galaxy Note 2, put on a custom ROM. I recommend the Cyanogen mod. If you're not comfortable doing that, it could be a bit confusing and daunting and scary uh, for some folks. I would still go with the Galaxy Note 2. It's fast enough, it's running almost the latest version of Android, and that giant screen for me really, really does it. Personally, the lack of LTE for me is a big deal breaker on the Nexus 4. If that's not an issue for you, then you might want to consider the Nexus 4. It's certainly a good over the air upgrades nice and easily, you don't have to worry about it. But for me, bigger screen, faster data speeds, it's all I want in the Galaxy Note 2. Hopefully that helped answer your question. 464 gigabytes. That's how much storage the average American household needs to store all of their digital files. Increasingly, our lives and our livelihoods are tied to digital storage. Photos, books, movies, financials, legal documents, all tied to the digital world. And while most of us have pretty good job backing up our analog stuff, Digital stuff sometimes we get lazy about, always assuming your computer's gonna be fine, your external hard drive's always gonna work. That's not always the case. And that one time you don't back up, it's gonna be the same day that your hard drive dies on you. It's happened to me several times. Crash Plan from Code42 Software is the online backup software that is rocketing to the top of nearly every ranking and review because of its intelligent design, ultra simple setup, and transparent operation. Essentially, Crash Plan lets anybody set up a super secure private backup cloud just a few clicks to their Windows, Mac, or Linux machines. Very easy, you can set it up all in one click and back up from pretty much any desktop you've got and keep all your stuff secure in the cloud. Backups are continuous, so your most recent docs are securely backed up off-site in Code42's Crash Plan Central Cloud in seconds. Access those files within minutes from your phone or tablet with the free Crash Plan mobile apps. Also free is the ability to use the same easy software to back up to an external drive or securely share extra drive space with a friend or back up to and from your home or office computer again for free. Crash Plan offers truly unlimited access anywhere for just $5.99 a month or save on a year visit for $59.99. We encourage you to try it free for 30 days. Visit crashplan.com buffalo and start protecting your digital life with the easiest, most secure, 
backup solution available. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Ask the Buffalo. If you want to have your question featured in an upcoming video, every Tuesday on technobuffalo.com, we put up an article asking me to leave your questions in the comments. If you don't want to do that, you can send them to us on Twitter. Use hashtag AskTheB. You can send them either to me at John Ford Lakers or at Techno Buffalo. Thank you guys for watching. I'm your host, John Rettinger. I'll see you next video.